everybody and welcome back to the channel for another awesome WWE Supercard Season 5 video. My name is Nawala G and I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. So we got more details about this whole Spring Fever stuff coming to WWE Supercard. It's awesome. I'm going to be going over the details for this and I'm also going to be showing off some of the brand new cards that they are showing off here on their official Twitter account. It's going to be a very, very awesome video. So make sure you do stick around and make sure you get yourselves into a comfortable seat and get your popcorn ready because this is going to be an awesome upload. And uh, make sure if you're new to the channel and enjoy daily Supercard videos such as tips and tricks, pack openings, challenges, you name it, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss a single video from me here on the channel ever again, make sure you also turn on the post notification bell because I upload daily Supercard stuff, news, you name it, you know, everything Supercard related, guys, I do it right here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications, and if you go on to enjoy what you see in this upload, make sure you also give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it, or if you dislike what you see in this upload give me a thumbs down completely up to you guys and gals uh, but anyways with that all being said now let's get into the full details so you all know what's going on with this whole thing all right so it says spring fever 2019 starts today at 12 p.m pacific collect seeds and stocks and fuse them into spring 2018 or spring 2019 cards okay let's go check this out people All right, so let's see here. It says spring is around the corner. You know what that means. It's time to start collecting wrestling cards with man-eating plants on them. Also skulls. Ooh, that sounds really cool. It says a new spring promotion is coming to WWE Supercard featuring new spring cards to collect. It kicks off on March 1st at 12 p.m. Pacific with the arrival of seed and stock enhancements on the draft board. Collect them individually or cut a corner by fusing seeds into stocks. Once you get enough of these new enhancements, choose to fuse either a random spring 2018 card or as a separate choice a random spring 2019 card here's the spring 2019 roster uh, for the shattered cards guys we're getting a daniel bryan ricochet velveteen dream pete dunn buddy murphy tony storm okay and now for the neon cards guys we're getting ec3 ray mysterio andrade shinsuke nakamura tyler Bate, and candice LeRae. and for the gothic cards we'll be getting samoa joe a uh, constable baron corbin drew mcintyre cedric alexander trent seven and bianca belair so these are all the cards we will be getting you know the brand new spring cards for the tiers and stuff like that so uh that's pretty cool guys all right it says the spring promo ends on march 31st seeds and stocks as well as a pack with our new 2019 cards will be hitting the store throughout the month so keep your eyes peeled as you collect okay so that's all the information regarding that now let's take an in-depth look at all of the cards that they have showed off so far here on their twitter account all right or shown off i should say all right so here's this thumbnail art and we'll zoom in and get a good in-depth look so we got this really awesome neon candace larray card really cool looking we got ricochet there in the background we got a shattered buddy murphy card okay we got daniel bryan and we got this really cool gothic samoa joe card now i feel like they were kind of a little lazy as far as the card designs are concerned because each cards like or each tier for the cards don't really vary or differ too much you know the only thing that really changes on these card designs between the tiers is of course you know the plant that they have on the cards you know like for the neon cards they have this neon looking plant which looks cool um you know for the shattered cards they have this blue looking plant and then for the gothic cards they have this like greenish red looking plant but that's like the only thing that really changes on these cards i feel like they could have been a little more creative and they could have changed some more things around and stuff like that you know they all just look too similar in my opinion but still really cool card designs nonetheless i just wish they were a little bit more creative with them and uh, i'm probably not going to get any like really good cards from this promotion that's usually how it goes like um you know the last promotion that they did you know the valentine's day promotion i actually did have quite a bit of luck i scored myself a couple gothics one being a pro i got myself a shattered alexander wolf um you know so i did have some luck with that last promotion that we had but um i know last year i didn't have much luck with the last spring promotion that we had in supercard so i don't expect to have too much luck with this one either you know they usually make 
like these freaking promotional events. Very pay to uh, get, I guess you could say, uh, because they'll probably put packs in the store where you could get the ingredients and stuff like that. Of course, you could pull these from the draft board, like the uh, uh, the ingredients and stuff like that as well. But it's probably going to be more the less where you have to pull out your wallet to be able to get these cards or get pros or whatever, you know. Um, so I don't know how good the drop rate's going to be for the draft board, you know, pulling these ingredients. But I'm hoping that they make it pretty good because it's really annoying when you can't get all of the ingredients that you need to start these fusions, you know. Uh, but the Valentine's Day one, I loved it. I think they did a good job with it. It was very easy to get ingredients. You know, they had the ingredients in the free packs and stuff like that. It was very easy and I'm hoping it kind of runs very similar. You know, I hope this event runs very similar to that event. Uh, but anyways, guys, sorry for the rambling now. Let's take a look at some of the other cards that they showed off as well. Uh, we got this very cool Shattered Tony Storm and I actually like how they show the pro animation here. You know, this is the pro animation uh, for the Shattered card. So really cool. You know, you got some rain dropping. You got lightning going through the card. So very, very sick uh, detail work there with that. Um, really, really cool. Okay, up next here, we got a Shattered Velveteen Dream, you know, another pro animation, uh, very cool, um, you know, the image is kind of bland, but very cool, I do like the pro animation, very, very sweet. Okay, guys, up next here, we got EC3, that's actually a cool image, you know, I like the pose he's doing, uh, so pretty sick there, that's a neon, of course. Um, you know, and this one actually doesn't have any lightning going through it, just some rain, some heavy rain coming down, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of lightning, like maybe some flashing, I think I, yeah, there's like some flashing going on from as I, or uh, as far as I could tell, but no like actual lightning going through it. Okay, guys, uh, we got Shinsuke here, this is another neon pro animation. Okay, uh, moving along here, we got Daniel Bryan, of course, Shattered. Um, you know, uh, the pro animation for the Shattered cards have that lightning going through it, which is pretty dramatic, so that's cool. I guess that's where the cards really differ from each other, is like, you know, the Shattereds have the lightning and stuff going through it, and the Neons just mainly have heavy rain going through it, you know, but uh, the Shattereds are cool because it has the rain and the freaking lightning going through it. Um, so that's pretty cool. And guys, to wrap it up here, we got Rey Mysterio, another neon pro animation or pro card, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so really cool. I'm actually really digging the image for this Rey Mysterio card because I like the mask he has on. It's like a nice purplish pinkish or whatever you want to call it. Um, and he just looks very like intense. You know, he looks like he's ready to kick your butt or something like that. So very, very cool looking. Of course, let me know what you think about these brand new cards. Do you like the designs? Do you think they're too similar? Are you going to be trying to, you know, go for these cards? I'm sure a lot of people will be, of course, that play super card. Um, you know, I'll be trying to go for them, but I'm just hoping that this promotion uh, will be as easy as the last promotion, like I said before. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's actually all I have for this WWE Supercard Season 5 video. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Remember, if you did go on to enjoy the video, to thumbs it up. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like I said before, if you're new for future Supercard content coming. And, uh, you know, don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell as well to join the notification squad, which is a very awesome squad, if I do say so myself. Uh, but anyways, guys i'm newology take care have an awesome rest of your day or night and i'll catch you in my next super card video or live stream and peace wait you're still here what are you doing here still the video ended what more do you want to see i mean i i just wrapped up the video i thought i did enough talking you want to see more still okay fine sure I guess I could do something else before I wrap the video up, uh, since you're still watching, that is. Okay, guys, so since you're still watching this video, I guess what I'll do to end it is uh, open up a challenge reward pack. Is that what you want to see? Is this good enough for you? <laughs> All right, anyways, let's get into it, folks. Let's see what I get from this challenge reward pack. Maybe I'll get a neon card. Maybe I won't. Probably not. You guys know my luck by now. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, and let's see if it will actually happen. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go, folks. Let's see what we get here. Sorry, just fixing my light a moment. It was in my way. It was in my way of my finger snap. Uh, so let's get into this pack here in three, two, one. Okay, guys. Oh, we get a WrestleMania 34. I guess that's not too bad from a challenge reward pack. 
Still not great, though, you know? Uh, but anyways, guys, we get a monster power here up first. And now, for the WrestleMania 34 card, who is it going to be? It is Dean Ambrose! Alright, guys, the current freaking event card that we have here in Supercard. Uh, but anyways, I guess that's all I really have now for the video. So, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. Hopefully, you guys enjoy your day. And, of course, I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.